Moscow cinema stops showing death of Stalin after police raid. Moscow, AFP, a Moscow cinema which screened British comedy The Death of Stalin in defiance of an official ban has announced that it will stop showing the film after a raid by Russian police on Friday, Jan 26. The Culture Ministry on Tuesday, Jan 23, withdrew permission to screen British director Armando Iannucci's film, which satirizes the death of the dictator, after Russian officials labeled it offensive and extremist. But Moscow Cinema Pioneer, named after the Soviet youth organization, had decided to go ahead with its screenings of the film. Reports of the cinema's planned defiance led the Culture Ministry on Thursday, Jan 25, to warn movie houses they would bear legal responsibility for showing the film. On Friday, six policemen accompanied by a group of men in civilian clothing went to the cinema following a matinee screening of the film, and at one point held an administrator and other cinema employees behind closed doors. Asked by AFP why they were there, the policemen repeatedly refused to give an answer. We just wanted to go to the cinema at lunch, one said. The cinema's employees did not comment on the decision to screen the film despite the ban and said they were not warned prior to the visit from law enforcement officers. Later on Friday, Pioneer Cinema, which is owned by oligarch Alexander Mimit and is popular among the Russian liberal elite, said it would cease showing the film. Dear friends, for reasons not up to us, the Pioneer Cinema is obliged to cancel screenings of the film The Death of Stalin from Jan 27, the cinema said on its website. Anyone who has bought a ticket to a future screening will be reimbursed, it added. Laughing through tears. Following the screening, but before the arrival of police, AFP spoke to Russians who watched the film that takes a sardonic look at the power scramble after Stalin's 1953 death. Now I feel like doing something else that's forbidden, like going to eat some parmesan, said Leonid Parfyanov, a liberal journalist and filmmaker, as he came out of the screening, a reference to the ban on Western food products in Russia. Olga Ganushkina, 64, said she was grateful to the cinema for not cancelling the screening and welcomed that a foreign director had made a film about the late Soviet dictator. I think Russians are still scared to laugh about this, she said. She added that this was not always the case, saying she missed satirical TV shows of the 1990s that made fun of political leaders, including then-President Boris Yeltsin. I wish we still had those shows and that we could laugh at our current leaders, too. It's not a sin, she said. Other viewers said the film was more of a tragedy than a comedy. Roman Lochte, 25, said he came to the cinema after seeing on social media that it was still showing the film. It's not actually a comedy, it's a sad film. But as the fate of our country has often been so sad, we are used to laughing through tears," he said. He admitted the film may have gone a little too far at times but added that it's a shame we, Russians, have still not been able to make films laughing at Stalin. Writing on Twitter, the death of Stalin's Scottish director Armando Iannucci thanked Russians for all the messages of support this week. It means a lot. I'm still hoping you get to see the film soon," he wrote. Thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe my channel for new update. Now trailer of the death of Stalin. Doctors are dead. But I can't remember who's alive and who isn't. It's Comrade Stalin. I'll take it from here. We need to start putting together a plan. How can you run and clock at the same time? We should get Stalin's children here. What are you doing to my father, you jackals? How old are you? I'm old. You're not old! You're not even a person! You're a testicle! Everything's gonna be fine. This is not exactly fine, is it? My father's lying there with his head open. Stalin would have wanted the committee as one. All those in favor. 
Terry. You unanimously. Rooshed? Not rooshed. Whatever. Not rooshed. Rooshed? Would you stop with this? I want to make a speech at my father's funeral. No, uh, no problem. Uh, technically, yes, but practically. When I said no problem, what I meant was no problem. Ignore me. I'm sorry, but I am very furious. You're the good guy now? You locked up half the nation. Yes, and now I'm releasing them. What are you doing? I've been picking out funeral cushions with Slim Hitler over there. Trust no one. Darling, we'll be loving this. Don't worry. Nobody's gonna get killed, I promise you. I've had nightmares that make more sense than this. You will not take me down! I will not be silent! Stalin's dead. Stalin is dead! Lookalikes, I think their contract's up. We need change. How can you run and plot at the same time? Nobody's gonna get killed, I promise you. What's a war hero got to do? Get some lubrication around here. I know the drill. Smile, shake hands, and try not to call them. One day, my brother just rode a pig through here. Oh, that must have been messy. <laughs> it was terribly messy. Stalin will be loving this. All of you can kiss my Russian ass. I'm off to represent the entire Red Army at the buffet. You girls enjoy yourself.